Oh my god, it's already so unseasonably warm. I don't think my neck can take another layer of stuff that'll make it sweatier than it already is. Whew, no joy for today. I was planning to go out to run this morning like I normally do around 8 a.m. on a summer day. It's hot in California, and so I've planned my day that I have fully digested my breakfast by the time I'm going to run, but I'm still running early enough in the day that it is not a temperature that is inhospitable to life. But it doesn't seem to have really worked out today. California is having our second heat wave in like one month, and I'm still recovering from being sick last week, which you might be able to hear in my voice. And I have a lot of video work to do, and a lot of it requires having my windows open and studio lights on, burning me to a crisp on this incredibly warm day. I think the kind thing to do for myself is to let myself have another rest day. And then the part of me that's all like, productivity and motivation, gains bro, is like, don't let anything stop you. Just force yourself to get outside and do the work today. But like, even if I did get outside, it's not like I would be doing any sort of really helpful workout because I'm still trying to take an easy run to come back from being mildly ill. So yeah, that whole plan is either canceled or just getting moved into later in the day. For now, we're gonna jump right into working on study quill. And speaking of investing in this channel, let's take a quick break for a word from today's sponsor. Morning Brew is a daily, uh, morning newsletter, as it implies in the name, that arrives in your inbox every single day, Monday through Sunday. And it catches you up with the daily news in just five minutes, along with being a lot more witty and interesting than a little bit more boring traditional news. In just the past couple of days, I've learned about a brand new Subway menu and Jeff Bezos stepping down from his position as CEO of Amazon. If you're interested in business, finance, technology, or just like current events in general, Morning Brew is a great option. It's completely free and it takes just 15 seconds to subscribe. So if you're interested in trying it out and getting a bit smarter in just five minutes every day, visit the link in the description below. Thank you again to Morning Brew for sponsoring this video and now let's get back to the main routine portion that you are here to see. This summer, I'm technically like doing nothing. I don't have an internship or job. I'm not like officially on somebody else's payroll and schedule. Instead, I'm planning to just work for myself almost. Where I'm at with my YouTube channel is it's pretty successful, I guess. Like it's enough for me to sustain a fairly comfortable full-time income, but I'm still prioritizing being a student. I don't want to permanently or temporarily drop out of college to pursue YouTube. So the summertime is probably my best time to really pour all of my time and energy into this channel. Maybe making more videos will help me gain subscribers or at least I'll be making more views. Is that what it's called? Like getting more views? Like y'all know that I don't do YouTube just for money, but it sure does help. And if I want to do something as a job this summer, honestly, putting more hours into YouTube is a lot more economical than making minimum wage or next to nothing at an internship or service job anyways. I'm in a really lucky position right now to be where I am with YouTube and social media, so I'm gonna take advantage of it while I can because I put in a lot of hard work on this channel. Feels weird to say that out loud. I'm not used to being so uh, positive about my own accomplishments and hard work. Is her nose red because she did that trendy little nose blush thing? Or is it because she had a cold two days ago and she's been blowing her nose every half an hour? Play along at home! Being a full-time YouTuber isn't as glamorous of a job as one might think looking in from the outside. 
I'm super grateful that it's not as physically laborious as the average job, but most of it is not sitting in front of a camera or going on adventures. It is setting up cameras, learning how to use equipment, writing scripts, doing research. Like any creative project, a lot of grunt work goes into the final pretty product that you see at the end. First and most importantly, if you take just one thing away from this video, let it be this. Do not let College Board send you emails. I tend to prioritize filming on summer mornings because it's a lot cooler, but as it heats up in the afternoon, I switch to editing in As you can see, it got so warm in my room, I relocated to the downstairs area, the coolest spot in the house because heat rises due to convection. Wow, welcome to an eighth grade physics lecture. Also, yeah, editing looks really boring from the outside. I promise I'm doing a lot on my screen and in my head, but it just looks like me spasming in front of a laptop. While my laptop was hard at work exporting that video, I decided to get to work on its thumbnail. You might recognize this, it's my 101 things to do instead of scrolling video that I posted like a week ago. Today I'm just wrapping up the editing and thumbnail stuff that I already got started for this video. I'm not editing and completely finishing the footage that I filmed earlier this morning. I'm not that fast at editing, unfortunately. I just tend to overlap my tasks for various projects just because it like increases my efficiency or whatever productivity buzzwords I pretend I use in my life. Oh, no.